Welcome to the Witness History Podcast from the BBC World Service with me, Anushka Matanda Dowerty. Today I'm telling you the story of how one woman went from movie star to cleaning chicken coops in Canada and then back to a movie star. It's early 1974, and actress Q Chin is wrapping up her latest film on location in Singapore. Her days are filled with learning lines, costume fittings, and movie star makeup. She was one of the most recognizable actresses in East Asia. Life was fantastic. Until... In the middle of shooting, I hear that Saigon, my country, is about to fall into communist. I see from the airport to the street that so panic everywhere with packed people looking for a way out, looking for each other. And I come home and every morning wake up to learn that another piece of land in the south had been fallen to communist. Back in Vietnam, all Q could do was sit and watch as the country she knew and loved changed into something unrecognizable. She wondered if returning home was the right decision and started looking for ways out of the country. Lucky for her, she had friends in high places who got her a seat on the last flight out of Vietnam. I just sit all the way at the back of the plane in front of the toilet and I didn't even have a chance to ask him where the plane would go. And to my surprise, the plane landed in Singapore, where I just left days ago. But when Q arrived, she wasn't met with the warm movie star welcome she was used to. They put me in jail due to my passport belonged to a government that no longer in power because South Vietnam president just resigned. She didn't know what would happen but it was clear Singapore didn't want her. All of a sudden, she had no home. But then, a glossy magazine in the hands of one of her jailers caught her eye. The cover of the magazine is my photo. So I was asking the guard, please, I want to call to my embassy. He looked at me from head to toes, did not answer, and he looked down to the magazine, continue reading. I realized that the beautiful photo in the cover is not like me at that moment. And then I go into the restroom, wash my faces, you know, straight up my hair and my clothing. I come out. I ask the God again, please look into the centerfold of the magazine. He opened the centerfold and then looked back at me. He realized that, yes, this is me. He allowed me to make a phone call to my embassy and the ambassador of South Vietnam came rescue me, get me out of jail. But I was only able to get out of jail with one condition. I have to leave the country within 24 hours. Q and the ambassador went from embassy to embassy looking for an entry visa, but everyone had closed their doors. Saigon was teetering on the edge of communist rule and she knew she couldn't go back there. She reached out to an old co-star in Singapore who offered to help and brought her a ticket to Canada. When I landed in Canada, it was April. They sent me to the job department, the job available or marked on this big board. And the only the last one cleaning after the chicken. Minimum wage, $2 some cent at that time. I took it. I took a job. I have to start my cleaning as early as when the chicken are awake. I have to walk miles and miles, huge chicken farm. Suddenly, overnight, my country belonged to the other side. My husband, family, no contact. I don't know what happened to them. Suddenly, Saigon belonged to another world, closed its door, and I was lost. I opened my purse, my little purse. I found my little address book. I found some names of my American friend from the industry, movie industry. So I decided to call them with 
The hope I want to come back to my career. I cannot work in that chicken farm for the rest of my life. The first phone call I make is to my leading man, Bert Reynolds. Universal presents Bert Reynolds. Sally Field. The answer was he is not available. The next person I called was actor William Holden. Born yesterday stars William Holden as a guy with a nose for news and an eye for a blonde. There was a woman pick up the phone. I asked, are you Mrs. William Holden? I am, my name is Q Ching. Can I talk to him? She said, yes, I was Bill's wife, but we had been divorced. With the very last dollar, I called the last American name that I have on my book. It was actress Tippi Hedren. Tippi is the leading lady in the movie The Birds by Hitchcock. Yes, what is it you're looking for, sir? Love birds. Love birds, sir? Yes, I... I met Tippi only once in 1965. And now 1975, 10 years away. I'm not sure that she would remember me. But anyway, I just like a drowning person with a very thin hope. But I call her anyway. She picked up the phone. Now, the first time that the person I want to call picked up the phone, I was panicked. I said, Tippi, Tippi, this is Kiu Ching from Vietnam. The actress from Vietnam, remember me? I came from Vietnam. She said, oh yeah, Kiu Ching, I do remember you. I, I was worried that, what happened to you? Where are you now? I said, I cannot talk anymore. This is my number. Call me back. I have no more money. She called me back. I told her my, my situation. She said, calm down. Don't cry. Everything would be okay. I will take care of you. And she did. Q left Canada and landed in America in mid-1974 and immediately started looking for acting jobs. Three days later, she sent me an air ticket with all the paperwork, bring me to America. She sponsored me. My very first TV work here, I was in MASH. I have to mention the movie The Joy Luck Club Story by author Amy Tan, directed by Wayne Wine. Do not expect anything. Never expect. Only hope. Only hoping best for you. It's not wrong to hope. Joy Luck Club was a kind of the very first Asian movie successful in Hollywood. That movie bring me everywhere. Film festival, Sundance. Q is one of the most famous Vietnamese actresses of all time. She has won multiple awards and in 2009, she was named Woman of the Year by the State Senator of California. I work every year. I mean, almost hundreds of film and TV. And I just go along with whatever comes. And I'm happy that it came. A movie looking for me. I did not looking for movie. It came to me. And I accept it as my destiny. I know nothing else but working in the movie. Q Chin was talking to me, Anushka Matanda Dowsey, for that edition of the Witness History Podcast.